getting its livestock to feed us. Okay, also a small minority. The fact is that we cannot, within this debate format, evaluate the claims that Mr. Friedrich's putting forward. It's not to say that they're incorrect, but I think it's too, pushing us too far and sort of asking too much of us for me to say, well, I think this particular method of farming, this technical aspect, does reduce suffering versus this particular aspect doesn't. I think that's particularly unfair. What I think we can do is idealize and generalize and say there are out there some sustainable ethical practices for farming livestock, and we should be focusing on those and trying to promote those within our society. We do that not by abstaining from eating meat. We do that by, as individual actors, choosing consciously to get meat and consume meat from ethical and sustainable sources. And I think that's the best way to promote an animal welfare agenda than it is to abstain from meat completely. suggesting that I have to defend the utilitarian position. No, I don't. <laughs> I thought we were discussing, in the real world, is it ethical to eat meat? And 60 to 70 percent of you are eating meat in the real world. I thought it was fairly bold of me to come in here and say that you're a bunch of uh, you know, unenvironmental, global starvation, supporting animals, cruelty supporting, awful evil people. No, I'm kidding, obviously. I mean, you know, most of us ate meat for most of our lives. Um, I ate meat for 17 years. And, uh, my goal in being here is to raise issues and to hopefully have you go back and investigate the claims that I'm making, um, all of which are based on respectable, most of them, most of the environment, all of the environmental and the world starvation statistics are from the United Nations. Uh, the cruelty statistics are from agriculture itself. Um, so it's not actually particularly difficult for us to uh, evaluate the veracity of my claims about HUDs. The reality is that the animals are mutilated without pain relief. Chickens have their beaks chopped off. Male baby chicks are tossed alive into grinders. Uh, chickens are growing six to seven times as quickly as they did 50 years ago. Their death losses are about 1% because of all the drugs and the genetic breeding. I mean, all of this is from the industry. Um, and it's not at all hard to verify uh, if you look into it. For me, it really does distill to what does ethics mean? For me, ethics means I don't pay other people to do things that I would not do personally. It's really super simple. And it doesn't involve some idealized future world, which I hope somebody will ask, ask about, because I'm happy to spend a couple minutes on that, but perhaps not in my final two minutes. Uh, it involves saying, would I personally throw that food away? Would I personally want to cause all of that extra global warming? Do I personally want to cause those animals to suffer so miserably? If for you, the answer, like for me, is no, then I hope you will agree with me that it is not ethical to eat meat, because it does all three of those things every time you do it. Thank you. We will now take questions from the audience. If you have a question from Bruce Friedrich of PETA, please line up in this, side, in this aisle. And if you have a question for Wes Hopkins of the Harvard Speech and Parliamentary Debate Society, please line up in this aisle.